All right, I got a little L3200 Kubota here. I uh, borrowed it from a coworker of mine to do the work at the farm. Some of you guys may have seen those that video of spreading the gravel, but um, as part of the borrow deal, he wanted me to change the oil on it for him just because <laughs> he's not real mechanically inclined. He's enough to know that it needed an oil change, but he said, man, I'll be honest with you, you can change it in five minutes. It's gonna take me five hours by the time I go and get all the stuff and read through my manual and figure it out. So I'm gonna change the oil for him. I've already looked the tractor over. It's real simple. The oil filter's right here on the side, which is super easy to get to, although it's probably going to spill oil all over the frame when I pull it loose. Typical oil change sort of nonsense. Um, the oil pan is kind of interesting. The oil pan is split around this front drive shaft. This tractor has front wheel assist. So I have to pull both those drain plugs. Um, and where's my finger? With that one and that one. That's just a, that's a bracket of some sort. But pull two drain plugs. Uh, and I think some people maybe have missed this and wouldn't pull both so you gotta absolutely pull both or else you're not gonna get a full oil change so pull both i'll do it my pants should fit under both so i'll pull both and let it drain out and while it's draining out of course um take my filter off and then this was a little frustrating to me the oil fill is right here i think i can snake a funnel in from the top if i've got a real skinny neck funnel i can get down in there and then the oil check is right here not really labeled like nothing about it says oil dipstick i couldn't find it for the longest time because i was you know looking for something i could hook my finger in and it wasn't there and I finally found it but it's just a little short dipstick um oh it oil looks pretty good to me for diesel oil <laughs> it doesn't look all black and nasty but anyway he wanted me to change it well, i'm gonna change it but let me get some stuff set up here and then we'll uh have a look uh, 19. it is a 19. haha <laughs> told y'all it was 19. all right Let's get these puppies pulled out. Pull the far side first so that it doesn't run oil all over your hand when you the close one. Are you measuring it? One out. <laughs> that didn't take long. This thing's supposed to have six quarts of oil and it doesn't look like it like that. Oh, okay, it's got a vacuum. Reach up here and pull my... Uh... There we go. <laughs> That's fun. I just loosen the uh, oil fill so that it can get air. Yes, honey, be quiet. I'll loosen the fill plug so it'll let air get in there, break that vacuum. Mm. Otherwise, we'll sat there and glug glug forever. I think my oil pan will hold six quarts, I hope. Right. Let's come up here. Let's see, I lost my little, I don't have my camera tripod, so I'm trying to figure out how I can place you guys to watch. Maybe it's right here, huh? That's good enough. Grab my wrenches. Got this big, uh, multi-size filter wrench. I think I can get it on here. Look at that. I ain't even got to get a wrench on it. It's loose enough. I can just turn it loose with just the wrench itself. The filter wrench. I'll have to get the actual ratchet on there. All right. There's my washer. So there was this washer. That goes on the oil drain bolt. I didn't notice it fell off when I pulled the bolt. Just a copper washer for crush washer. Oh, God. Help prevent leaks. All right. That's out. Wipe my pan off a little bit. I'm actually doing this on the trailer, and I borrowed this trailer from another guy. So I'm trying to keep his trailer clean. And not. Oh, hell. Are you kidding me? That washer just fell through a slot on the trailer down on the ground. Now I gotta fetch it. That's a good way to ruin the day. Ruin the day? 
ruined it, Kenzie. Had to lay on the ground, got all wet and nasty. There it goes, yeah, just run out all over the axle. Just right. Wow, that's impressive. That actually didn't leak too bad. Let that drain out. Make sure our old washer did not stay on there. It did not. So, let's go get our new oil filter. All right, so here's our new filter. I've already put a little bit of oil on the O-ring. Thread our new filter on. And then, I'm not gonna show y'all putting the wrench on. Get my wrench on, tighten it up. All right, take that one. This one back out. A little more dirty oil. Emerson, what's wrong? Did you hit your head? Yeah, you gotta be careful with that, buddy. A little bit more dirty oil runs out of there. All right. Some people are really anal about getting like the 100% perfect oil change and yeah, well, that's just never going to happen. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the oil change guidelines, you know, the call for it to be done every so often anticipate that you won't get 100% efficient change. You just tear the whole engine apart and wipe the whole thing down. So once it slows to a drip, I call it good. Emerson, quit fussing, please. You have no reason to fuss like that. You got a good life, boy. Oh, to you. He didn't mean it. Don't be a tattletale. Dog up here. Find my ratchet behind me. Don't want to go so hard you strip your bolts out. That's the nice thing about that brass crush washer. It takes some of that out of the game. Some of that question. That ought to do it. Wipe them down real clean again. So we don't have any dripping. Alright. Now let's go up top. Okay, so again, here's our oil fill point, and here's our dipstick. Some people said they filled through the dipstick, which I guess you could. You have a dinky little funnel. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a long neck funnel to reach down behind the shield. Man, if this were my tractor, I'd take this friggin' shield off just so I could work on it easier, but I mean, I, st I could take it off now and put it back on, but I'm a, I think I got a funnel that'll reach down behind there, so let me see if I can find one. Okay, so. It calls for, you know, of course, the Kubota brand oil, which I went ahead and just picked it up because I was there getting the filter. It's actually only a couple bucks a quart. It's like four bucks a quart, so it's pretty close. I mean, I can buy gallons of Shell Rotel for less, and I like Shell Rotel. Um, but, you know, it's not a huge difference. So, uh, he and the guy, the Kubota guy, he was like, yeah, Shell Rotel would be perfect. It, it worked just fine. Uh, but the Kubota stuff wasn't really any more expensive. Can't find my long neck funnel, so I managed to cram this one in there. Um, it might be a little hard to jimmy my, my gallon in there. I guess in hindsight, probably what would have been better, probably if I'd have had the bucket raised all the way up, um, just to give me a look, because the cylinder is right in front. But um, a long neck or a flex neck funnel would have been better, but let me get the oil poured in there, however I can figure out, <laughs> and then we'll have a check. Yeah, that's raising them up right. Got all three of the big kids out here helping. Um, just started the tractor, ran it for a little bit to make sure that I get the oil filter filled up. And uh, now we'll pull the dipstick and see how it looks. There's a low hole up towards the top there, full hole. So it's maybe somebody would say it's a little over full, um, but it's fine. Last but not least, label a filter on when you did the service. Obviously, if you're writing it down a notebook, somewhere you'll remember that too. But since this isn't my tractor, I'm just going to label it. Um, that ink will probably want to fade off. I just use a Sharpie. Stop it! It'll probably want to fade over time, but hopefully my buddy will take notes or write it down somewhere. But I put on there the hours and the date. I don't know what the service interval is on this tractor, but 
That way it's up to him whether you change it every you know, 15 hours or every six months. I don't know, but put it both on so he won't forget. I wish I would have thought to get him an oil filter or a fuel filter. I would have done that too because I'm sure he hasn't, but um, that would be a pretty easy one to get to too. But anyway, as far as the oil is concerned, we're all done.